What's going on, guys? I'm back to one, bring you some more Battlefield 1 content. So, what'd you think about that intro? <laughs> I've been wanting to do that for so long. Like, every time, I, every, every time I see somebody flying those biplanes back in World War 1 on this game, I'm thinking to myself, the flight of the Valkyrie, I've got to do it. And I got some good gameplay playing with my buddy uh, Twisted and uh, his, uh, his brother um, tonight. And we, uh, I jumped in an airplane, I flew the plane for about three quarters of the, the map until the map went completely foggy and I couldn't see the ground for shit. There was no, I couldn't see targets, I, you, you couldn't even mark them and I couldn't see them, it was so bad. I ended up crashing into the ground, but oh well, you know, it, it was fun while it lasted and I got, uh, those I think were the only two actual kills I got with the airplane, but it was, it was a lot of fun flying around and I finally got to use I hope I don't get a copyright strike for have Flight of the Valkyrie. I mean, it's a classic song. I mean, if that thing's still copyrighted to this day, uh, we got some serious copyright issues going on in this country. Uh, regardless, so I got some... Uh, this is the tank gameplay here. I'm using the light tank. Uh, I'm trying to remember what... I think this is the howitzer. This is the howitzer light tank. Uh, this, it just decimates people, man. The, the howitzer itself, it's got a really bad bullet drop on the, on the shell, the cannon shell. So you gotta really aim high. You can kind of see. Uh, no, not this one. You'll see it here a little bit. You gotta aim pretty high to get a, at a distance, but uh, it does a lot of damage against uh, enemy armor and, and whatnot. So, uh, you know, the tank. <laughs> I, I just kind of want to talk a little bit about the game, I guess, because I haven't talked that much about it yet. This is about six minutes worth of uh, video here, so just kind of get it out of the way. You know, there, there's a lot of stuff going on with the beta. It's it's very glitchy. Um, major problems with the connections, people not being able to get into servers, uh, people sitting in uh, the loading screen forever, getting booted from servers, and uh, you know, you, we were talking about it tonight, we, I, we've been talking about it all day really for the last day and a half actually, so it, there's not much to really discuss, I mean it's, it's a beta, at the same time DICE is an old company and they've got how many battlefields out now? I mean, they, it's really should just be cut and paste at this point, you know, with the uh, the connection stuff issues, the, the uh, protection, the security, all that stuff should be cut and paste. There's no reason somebody should be hacking and DDoSing your guys' fucking servers at this point. It's it's really killing the gameplays, you know. Um, that's the biggest issue we have right now with the beta, and that's something I hope that gets fixed the most before the game actually comes out. That, that to me, is the biggest problem. There's no reason this game should release in October and we have connection issues like we're having right now. So hopefully they're working on it. I have a feeling they are. They say they are in their in their uh, tweets and their their blogs and whatnot. So or blogs. So we should be getting everything fixed up and hopefully see some um, some patches and whatnot trying to fix the problems. It is out till the eighth. If you didn't know, the uh, beta will be out until the eighth of September, which is cool because plenty of time to play it. On the other hand, this map, man. <laughs> <laughs> to me, this map feels like Silk Road. It's nothing but tanks and fucking snipers everywhere. As a matter of fact, I've got a uh, bunch of clips of me sniping. I'm going to do just a big old montage of uh, sniper kills. The sniping in this game is just too stupid easy. It is just easy. It really is. I mean, it feels like the, the hitbox is like way wider than it needs to be. I even tested this. You can hold your breath. You know, hold your breath to study the, the sights. You can literally hold your breath as long as you want. You just sit there with the left or yeah, the left uh, stick pressed down, hold your breath, find a target, pull the trigger, man. And it, it don't have to be that far off. It, you can hit a target and it doesn't even look like you hit him and you might get a headshot. I've got a couple of clips where I got killed. I was going left to right on a sniper. I wasn't even going parallel with him. Wasn't heading straight for him or away from him. I was going left to right and he tracked me and he got a headshot on me, killed me. In, in a truck, <laughs> you know, like how the, the just you, nobody does that. Who does that? So you know, the snipers need to be, I think, need to be nerfed. They need the sway needs to be added. They need to get you know add a timer to the uh, the how long you can hold your breath. But again, at the end of the day, guys, this is just one map. You know, I'm hoping the other maps are are better. I wish they'd have given us the other map. Actually, I, I would have much rather played on the other map because I don't like this map at all. But that's a different subject for a different day. You know, there's just a lot of other things that need to be fixed in this game. People need to start playing, uh, you know, the objectives more. <laughs> because we get into a lot of games where people don't play the objectives at all. Uh, so, but I'll say some more of what I got to talk about in the next video with the sniper montage. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. If you like the uh, 
the video and you want to see some more of it, please let me know. Uh, if you haven't sub, please do so. And uh, we'll talk to you guys in the next one. It's Chief One. I am out.